Welcome back to part two of the series, Let's Debate, You Decide. Today, we will debate vaccines, are they necessary or not? With measles on the rise in the US and COVID-19 still a concern, the conversation about the importance of vaccines is more relevant than ever. For as long as humans have walked the earth, disease has stalked them. From ancient plagues to the deadliest outbreaks, people have sought ways to protect themselves and their communities. Yet, the history of vaccination is not just a tale of medical triumph. It is a story of controversy, resistance, and the fight between fear and progress. So, let the debate begin. Take the shot or not. The first sparks of immunization. Long before modern science, societies experimented with ways to prevent deadly illnesses. The earliest recorded attempt at immunization dates back over 1,000 years to China and India, where people practiced variolation, the process of exposing healthy individuals to small amounts of a disease, often smallpox, to build resistance. In the 18th century, Lady Mary Wortley Montagu, an English aristocrat, observed this practice in the Ottoman Empire and brought the concept to England. Though dangerous, it was the first real attempt at preventing widespread disease. Edward Jenner and the birth of vaccination. In 1796, English physician Edward Jenner made a groundbreaking discovery. He observed that milkmaids who contracted cowpox, a mild disease, did not get smallpox. With careful testing, Jenner successfully inoculated a young boy with cowpox, effectively protecting him from smallpox. This process, which he called vaccination, from the Latin vacca, meaning cow, became the foundation of modern immunization. Yet, despite his success, many were skeptical, fearing unknown side effects and unnatural interventions in the human body. The fight against disease and misinformation. Over the centuries, vaccination campaigns saved millions of lives. Smallpox was eradicated in 1980, the first disease in human history to be eliminated by a vaccine. Polio, measles and diphtheria vaccines dramatically reduced childhood mortality. Yet, for every advancement, skepticism followed. Religious, political and personal beliefs fueled resistance. In the 19th century, protests against mandatory smallpox vaccination erupted in England, with people arguing that personal liberty should triumph over government intervention. The same debates resurfaced in the 20th and 21st centuries with newer vaccines. The modern debate, science versus skepticism. Today, vaccines are at the center of global health debates. While medical experts cite overwhelming evidence of their safety and effectiveness, critics argue against potential risks, government mandates, and corporate influence in healthcare. The COVID-19 pandemic reignited these discussions, with mass vaccination efforts facing pushback from skeptics and proponents of bodily autonomy. So, where does the future of vaccination stand? Are vaccines humanity's greatest defense against disease or do they present ethical dilemmas that deserve deeper examination? As history has shown, this debate is far from over. What do you think? And that wraps up part two of our series, Let's Debate, You Decide. We've laid out the historical facts. Now it's your turn to decide. Take the shot or not. Let's hear your comments down below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss part three, where we dive into another controversial moment in history. Until then, keep questioning, keep debating, and we'll see you in the next episode.